Today, we test the limits of Pokemon Fire Red version by playing through the game without any Pokemon. And we're also able to walk through walls. You'll see what happens when you complete the game completely out of order, you'll see out of bounds and inaccessible areas, and you'll see what happens when you try to become the Pokemon League Champion without having any Pokemon. Okay, so normally what you're supposed to do is you walk up here and Professor Oak goes, Hey, don't go over there, you, you can't go into the tall grass. Because wild Pokemon live in the tall grass, you need your own Pokemon for protection. Come with me. And then you go with Professor Oak and he gives you a Pokemon. But, what if you could walk by here? What if you got into a Pokemon battle and you didn't have a Pokemon? Let's see, wild Rattata appeared. Go! And then there's just a blank. What will do? Level zero, zero out of zero HP. Our Pokemon is male. Try using a potion on it. Oh! There are no options. Okay, fine. Let's check what Pokemon we have. Okay, I'm gonna fight then. Has no moves left! Wild Rattata used Tail Whip. Blank's defense fell. ZX Mini is out of usable Pokemon! ZX Mini panicked and lost $8. Oh no! ZX Mini whited out. Wait, do you, do you even have money? ZX Mini scurried back home like a little rat, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. ZX Mini, welcome home! Sounds like you had quite an experience. Maybe you should take a quick rest. All right. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Well, let's have a look at our Pokemon. Let's see how great they're looking. All right, I can't even check my Pokemon because I don't have any. Why is mom talking about how good my Pokemon look when I don't have any Pokemon yet? I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream, and I learned how to eat dreams. Oh, let me teach it to a Pokemon. Okay, this move can only be learned once, is that okay? Yes. Which Pokemon wants to learn Dream Eater? I don't have any options. Blank and Dream Eater are not compatible. Dream Eater can't be learned. Well, that's too bad. What happens if we go up on this mountain? Oh! This is interesting. Wow, look, there are trees back here. Who would have thought? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I thought you could go down here, but you can't go down here. All right, let's just go along here. Just head on up here. Let's head to the Elite Four. Oh! Well, this is what's up here. Oh! Whoa! I didn't expect it to look... Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't expect it to look like this at all. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm just- oh, you're not even going to stop me? I can just walk by? He's like, there are crazy things happening in the world. I am not going to check if you have all of the required badges. I'm just going to let you go by, son. Do you have anything to say? You can pass here only if you have the Cascade Badge. You don't have the Cascade Badge yet. You have to have it to get to the Pokemon League. I don't care, I'm going to walk by anyway. What about you? You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. You don't have the Thunder Badge yet. You have to get it to go to the Pokemon League. Sorry, sir, I'm going to the Pokemon League anyway. That sign can't stop me, because I can't read. What about you? You can pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. You don't have the Rainbow Badge yet. You have to have it to get to the Pokemon League. That sign can't stop me, because I can't read. Oh, but there's water here. What are we going to do? Ah, there we go. This is what you can do. So normally you can't walk straight onto the water, but if you walk onto something that's out of bounds, then you can walk on the water. Oh, hopefully I'll be able to walk back inbounds. Oh, and I can't talk to him wh while I am in the water. Okay, so this guy doesn't even want to stop us. Let's just keep going by. Oh, am I going to be able to walk onto something? Okay, this guy's also not going to stop us. Okay, we could walk inbounds here. Let's just go around this way. All right, here we go. Got to avoid the grass because if we get into a wild Pokemon fight, then we are in trouble. What about you? You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. You don't have the Volcano Badge yet. You have to have it to get into the Pokemon League. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. You don't have the Earth Badge yet. You have to have it to get to the Pokemon League. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League, okay. Oh, and hold on, I'm guessing there's a berry right here. ZX Mini found one Citrus Berry. Oh! And it looks like... You don't have to go through Victory Road, you can just walk up here. <laughs> and right here's the exit for Victory Road. Oh, you know what I'm very curious about? 
up here, you could normally go here only if you're linked with another, only if you're, only if you have like a link cable or a wireless thing and you're connected to another Game Boy. I'm terribly sorry. The Pokemon Wireless Club is undergoing adjustments right now. Oh yeah? Let's see about that. I'm gonna walk in anyways. Whoa! Communication errors. Please check all connections. Then turn the power on and off. Every copy of Pokemon Fire Red is personalized. Oh my goodness. This is now becoming a creepy pasta. Oh no! <laughs> That's pretty creepy. What about this one? I'm guessing the same thing happens here. I'm terribly sorry. The Pokemon Wireless Club is undergoing adjustments right now. I'll see about that. Oh, this one is not cursed. Wow. <laughs> Please wait. Okay, I'm waiting. What's what's happening? What's happening? Please take your seat and start your trade. Man, I remember when I was a kid, I played this with friends and like we had a link cable or a wireless adapter or whatever. Like you could walk around with two trainers on the screen and I thought that was the wildest thing ever. I'm like, oh my God, I can see you in my game. Oh. Oh, hold on, let's talk to this guy, hello. Yo, champ in the making! Bro, I haven't won a single battle yet. I don't even have any Pokemon. At the Pokemon League, you'll face the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it, go for it. Okay, I'll go for it. What if we try to heal our Pokemon, but we don't have any Pokemon? What's going to happen? Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon to perfect health? Well, I don't have any Pokemon, but I'd like to see you try. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Wait. <laughs> the Pokeballs just keep filling up everywhere. Where are all these Pokeballs coming from? They're starting to fill up the screen. <laughs> They're just starting to appear all over the screen. What's going on? Where are these Pokeballs coming from? There are Pokeballs just appearing everywhere. How long will this go for? I'm expecting that this will keep going until the game crashes. <laughs> Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Okay, sure. Just take all of my Pokemon. Since I have so many Pokemon, I expect that it's going to take a while to heal all my Pokemon, so just keep taking all my Pokemon. It's weird. What determines where these Pokeballs appear? <laughs> the game treats your zero Pokemon as 65,500 plus Pokemon. That makes sense. What if we check on here? Takes many booted up the PC. Let's check someone's PC. Let's move Pokemon. Oh, we have a party Pokemon! Look, it's a question mark! But we don't have any data about it. We can't press A on it either. What are you doing here? Hello. From here on, you face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Okay, so if we walk in... Oh! Can we go to the next room? No! The door doesn't open! Oh, I was hoping we'd just be able to walk by them. Okay, so there's probably a value that you could you could find in the game's memory that sets you in a specific room. Ah, uh, but I can't just walk by them like this. That's so sad. All right, let's take on the Elite Four. With our good Pokemon, go! Blank. All right, I'm gonna fight. I have no moves left. Dugong used Surf. Oh, it's super effective. Oh no, my Pokemon fainted! I'm out of usable Pokemon. I lost against Elite Four Lorelei. I paid $8 as the prize money. That's not too bad. That was close. That was a close one. Oh! First, you should restore your Pokemon to full health. No, not this again. No! No! No, not this again! Oh! No, she still keeps adding the Pokeballs. No! This is the punishment for losing the fight. You just watch Pokeballs appear on the screen forever. I'm curious about something here. I'm very, very curious. I wonder if you could have a battle while you are in this out of bounds area here. Oh, you can! That's kind of surprising. That's kind of surprising that you could have a battle in an out of bounds area like that. I keep losing battles. Good thing I'm getting all these potions. Oh, and I'm very curious about Oh my God, the old man is dead. What has happened to him? Oh my goodness, this is the old man that you use the missing no glitch for, but he's dead right now. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. <laughs> what? What does the lady have to say? Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry. He hasn't had his coffee yet. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private pro- Oh, and then he pushes you back. So he doesn't want us to go that way. Okay, so normally you're not supposed to be able to access this gym this early. I'm pretty sure the door's locked or something. Let's see. 
This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Viridian's gym doors are locked. Oh yeah? Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> and you can actually walk in. Yo, champ in the making! Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all gym leaders. Looks like the gym isn't closed after all. Let's see. Oh no, I don't want to battle. Ah, if I get into a battle, then I lose. The gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. Yeah, the gym opened because I walked in here. No, there's no running from a trainer battle. All right, let me try using some of my items. Let me try using my full restore because I don't have a lot of HP. Won't have any effect, all right? <sighs> can, can I change Pokemon? Oh, hardy nature. I didn't know that my Pokemon had a hardy nature and it's fainted apparently. ID number zero, item none, name, question mark, question mark, number zero. Attack zero, defense zero. Okay, its stats aren't very good. We don't have very good stats. Let's check our attacks. Oh, hold on, something weird showed up. E! Guys, you see this E that's right here? The E with the accent that's to the side here? E! This is our attack, E. <laughs> Can we get some E's in chat? We have no moves left. Sand Slash used Poison Sting. What happens to me? Uh, the game's stuck. <laughs> Nothing happened after Poison Sting. We are not killed. Wanna go challenge the gym leader without any Pokemon. Hello, old man. Old man, we will avenge you. Giovanni was the one who took away his coffee. Now we have to head into the gym and get our revenge. All right, let's go to the gym leader. Let us find the gym leader. Where's the leader of the gym? You! Hello there, person we have never met because we just started the game and we don't even have any Pokemon. What do you have to say to us? <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. We've never seen you before. We just started this game. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer! Once more, we've never even met you before. What are you talking about, Giovanni? We don't even know who you are. Leader Giovanni would like to battle. Sent out to Rhyhorn. All right, Giovanni, I guess I'll battle you. You leave me no choice. Rhyhorn used takedown. Oh, it got hit with recoil. I wonder what determined how much damage it got hit with recoil by. Wow, that's so weird. If you go here, the doors still push you away, except except when you exit like this, then you're able to walk back in. But once you take a step away, once you take a step away, then all of a sudden the door is locked again and it pushes you away. That's so weird. Hello, Professor Oak's assistant. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. Your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species. I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with HMO5 for you. So, ZX Many, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? What if we say yes? Let's see. Uh-oh! You have only caught zero kinds of Pokemon! You need 10 kinds if you want the HMO5. Ah, oh, zero isn't more than 10. He's right. I guess we'll have to come back sometime. Yeah, it's funny that you can't walk through these. You can walk through that. Head into this house. That's how I enter houses. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade for my Mr. Mime? Yes. What? That's no Abra. Ah, I thought I'd be able to fool him. There's a way to skip by this guy in the original Pokemon Red and Blue, but I don't know if you could do it in this version as well. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Okay, and he brings you over to the gym. If you have the right stuff, take on Brock. You know what? I don't have the right stuff, so I'm not going to take on Brock. What if we walk by him like this? What if you talk to him from here? Hold on, I don't want to go through the whole dialogue again, so I'll save. What if you talk to him from this angle? You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can't talk to him like this. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I was holding left and I accidentally walked into him. I thought we'd be stuck with that music playing, but <laughs> we are on top of him now. <laughs> what if we leave? What if we go from here? You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. 
you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. No, I will not take on Brock. Hold on, now what happens? Okay. Okay, chat, okay, everyone, everyone, let's calm down. Things are looking okay. Cookie Sans, thanks so much for the 10 bits, appreciate that. Okay, everyone, let's, let's just stay calm. Let's just stay calm, everybody. This is going to be... This is going to be, this is going to be fine. We are going to take a step down and we're going to see what happens. Oh my goodness, he appeared! He appeared and he is above us now. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? How is he here? How is he here? We are hidden underneath him. Hold on, what if we do this? Okay, we can make the characters disappear. Why does this happen? Why does he disappear? I guess if you talk to him from a weird spot, like from here or from here, then he disappears. Like if you go over here, then he brings you along like that. But if you talk to him from this side, then he goes, follow me. But then he just moves. And let's see. The music stops, and I think it's not until you take a step that he appears again. Let's see. I'll try taking a step to the right, because if you take a step to the left, you end up on top of him. Let's try this. Ah, oh, he does appear. He does appear. Let's see, anything up here? Uh, the forest doesn't go very high up here. Oh, you know what? Let's go to the museum. Let's go to the museum. There might be cool stuff in the museum. Let's see. Yes, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. Well, how much is it for an adult ticket? What if I could just walk in for free, though? Haha! -ha. <laughs> it's $50 for a child's ticket. I'm already in the museum. What if you talk to him from here? You can't sneak in the back way. Nice try, kid, but no. Oh, whatever. Do you know what amber is? No. Amber's actually sap, that gooey stuff that oozes from trees. The ancient sap fossilized over time to become... to become rock-hard amber. Okay, well, looks like I can sneak in from the back. Haha! <laughs> Got you. Hello, sir. I should be grateful for my long life. Good advice. This is a great message. This is the kind of message that I want to share with my viewers. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Wow. Wow, he certainly has a lot to be grateful for. July 20th, 1969! All right. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Please do not touch the artifacts that are in the glass case. Please refrain from walking in the case. Well, what about you? Shh, listen, I need to share a secret with someone. The thing that this chump of amber contains Pokemon DNA would be a shattering scientific breakthrough if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore what I have to say. So I have a favor to ask. I want you to get this examined out of Pokemon Lab somewhere. Cool, I'll take it. Thank you, man. Okay, you have anything else to say? Shh, get the old Amber check. Why is he just trusting some random kid with it? What's going on here? You know what? I remember my mom was telling me about when she was a kid. Like, they grew up on a farm and she was telling me stories about, like, when they first got a TV or, like, when the village first got a radio. I remember one thing that blew my mind. She told me about when they first got a fridge. I'm like, what? You didn't have a fridge? That is unthinkable to me. That, that's crazy to think. It's like, wow. Imagine getting a fridge. Like, imagine not having a fridge. It just seems something that's just, like, so common in everyday life. Hold on, let me see. Let's see, how far does this extend? Wow, not far at all. Imagine if you didn't have to walk through all of Mount Moon and you could just go by like this. That would make life so much easier. You could just go across like that. Oh, I wanted to read the sign, not walk through it. Oh, we could go get Mewtwo, actually, which is kind of funny. Like, Mewtwo's- oh, I'm, I think we could go get Mewtwo. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. When I first played this game as a kid, I played the original Pokemon Blue version. When I saw this guy that's standing here, okay, this is really obviously there's a person here, his hair, and this thing behind him is the entrance to a cave. That's really obvious, right? But when I was a kid, this is what I thought this was. Let me show you what I thought this was. Hold on, let me bring up this. This? is what I thought it was. I thought it was a thing like this behind him. I thought it was like, instead of it being a cave entrance, I thought he had a thing like this above his head. That's what I was thinking it was. <laughs> but it's like so obviously not that. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, and when I was a kid, I'm always like, why is there just a guard like this standing in front of the cave? And it's like, you can't go in here until after you beat the Elite Four. Like, let's see, let's give a citrus berry. There is no Pokemon! That's what happens if you try to give this to a Pokemon. There is no Pokemon. Wait a minute! 
Why would they even have a message like that show up? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, okay, so it actually does make sense. Yeah, at the beginning of the game, you could get a potion from the PC before you go to the rival fight. So if you try to give the potion to a Pokemon, then it makes sense. You know what? You can't get onto this water over here normally, so I wonder if there would be a battle if you go onto this water here. Like, hold on, there isn't a way to get to this water, right? No. You can't normally reach this water, so I wonder if there are going to be any battles here. Why would Pokemon actually appear on this water if you can't reach this water? Like, hold on, let me double check. Like, look, there's no way to get to this water, right? Let's walk around the body of water. There's no way to get to it, it's all fed stuff. That's actually really funny. I guess maybe by default just water has water Pokemon that appear. So it's kind of funny that there are just Pokemon that appear even though this is like an area that you can't reach. That's kind of surprising. Hey, I'm a Pokemon. Okay, fine, fine, we'll help you, Bill. Here, Bill, we'll help you out. Let's do this. Oh, I don't want to walk through the computer. Oh, and Bill came out. What happened to the Clefairy? What happened to the poor Clefairy? Bill, where is the Clefairy? What did you do with the Clefairy? Thanks, bud, I owe you one. Where is the Clefairy? Everybody, where is the Clefairy? What happened to the Clefairy? We got an SS ticket. Yeah, now we're being bribed to forget about the Clefairy. Nobody ever asks what happens to the Clefairy. Where's the Clefairy? Yeah, he's like, hey, why don't you uh, go have a good time on this cruise ship? It's like, bro, where's the Clefairy? He tries to bribe us with cruise ship tickets to make us forget about the Clefairy. Don't worry, Clefairy, he will not be forgotten. Oh, and this water here also seems to be unreachable, but I bet, yeah, like you can't get to this water from anywhere because it's all closed off, but I bet you can still get a wild Pokemon encounter here. Yeah, you still can get a wild Pokemon encounter. That's actually really funny that even in unreachable water, you could still have Pokemon battles. Oh, hello, police officer. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Officer, the criminal is right there. Why are you standing here? The criminal didn't get very far. This is absurd. This is absurd, look. Uh, uh, Team Rocket robbed the people in this house! Did you think to check their backyard? My goodness! <laughs> let's try leaving our non-existent Pokemon at the daycare and let's see what happens. Hello, daycare man. I run the daycare service! Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? Ha! <laughs> That's implying that I have at least one Pokemon. I'll say yes. Which Pokemon should I raise? Choose a Pokemon. Ah, uh, there's so many options. I just don't know which one to choose. Let's do this one. Do what with this Pokemon? Store! If you leave me that Pokemon, what will you battle with? Ah, uh, you've got a good point! You've got a good point, sir! If I leave you that Pokemon, what am I going to battle with? What am I going to do? <laughs> He's so right! Ah, uh, foolish me! That was so silly of me to think that I could leave that Pokemon- Whoa! Saffron City's looking a little different here. Saffron City, are you okay? Saffron City. Are the residents of Saffron City okay? So when Team Rocket attacked Saffron City, they really made a lot of damage, but it looks like the police were able to clean up things very quickly. Oh, is this gym closed or can you- Whoa! Okay, I guess this gym is not open yet. Yeah, I can't enter here, that's so- Oh, wait a minute, maybe Saffron City is actually not loaded? Because you have to go through here? Let's see, let's try this. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, here, the road's closed. Hmm. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> if you sneak past him, he's just, hi, hi, how's it going? Ah, <laughs> oh, that is too good. <laughs> now what if we leave? What if we try to leave? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, the road's closed. If you talk to him from here. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> What if you talked to him from here? Hi, how's it going? Wow, even from right here, right beside him, he's like, hi, how's it going? What if we do it from here? Hi, how's it going? Wow! Wow, what a guy! <laughs> Hello, officer, nothing wrong here. Oh, and now all the Team Rocket people all appear here. Hey, what if we head into this door? Thank you for writing, I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. I was given a pee-pee up as a gift. If you know what I mean. Should we rescue Silphco? 
Let's see what we can do in Silphco. I wonder if you could have a battle inside this fountain. No, probably not, because this water just looks like the water that you actually can- Wait a minute! Look how cool the animation is for walking on this water! You can't normally walk here, why would they give such a cool animation for walking on this water? I guess they made this water like the other water that you could walk on, and it's so cool that you could see your reflection in this. It's actually really surprising. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Ha! <laughs> ha! Programming in a nutshell. It's a pretty picture of a Pokémon. It looks like it's feeling good. It's funny that you can examine that even though you can't normally reach that. 11? Okay, this has got to be the top floor. Let me save here. What if we talk to these people before we talk to Giovanni? Because normally what happens is you get here. Wait a minute, he won't even talk to me. Giovanni, why won't you talk to me? <laughs> it's like, I have taken this entire company hostage. No child is going to be worthy of my attention. What if we use this phone? Wait a minute, it's a telephone, better not use it. Okay, you are being held hostage by Team Rocket. You have a telephone in the room. And when you go to use the telephone, it's a telephone, better not use it. Bro. Will these people talk? Oh dear boy, thank you for saving Syl. I will never forget you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way. Because I am rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. ZX Mini obtained a Master Ball from the President. Good thing we saved him. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. You should be quiet about using it though. Okay, thanks. Talk to the assistant. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We from the president down are indebted to you. Okay, well, good thing that I... Well, let me just skip through this because we got the Master Ball. Okay, there we go. We got the Master Ball from them. Wow, I'm so glad that we finally saved the president and all of Silphco. Let's just check on our computer here. Check Bill's PC. Let's move around our Pokemon. Nope, still only got our question mark Pokemon. That's too bad. Hold on, if we go back to the master, if we go back to the president, will we get another master ball? <laughs> I'm curious, I'm very curious. He gives you the master ball right in front of Giovanni. Yeah, Giovanni and all of Team Rocket are still here. And he's like, thank you for saving us. Yeah, he still won't talk to us no matter what angle we speak to him from. What about you? You can't buy that anywhere. Okay, well, we already rescued you from Team Rocket, apparently. Thank you for rescuing all of us. This is so goofy. Oh, this is actually so cool. Look, you can't go any farther to the left here unless you go through this door here. So that means that this grass here, look, if you go through here, if you go through here and you see this grass here, you could actually continue to the left. This is the real Route 7 that we are on. But if you go to Saffron City, if we do this, like if we go over here, Oh, can I enter, please? What? Uh... <laughs> okay, that's a little glitchy. But, okay. So if we do this, if we walk around, then go through here... This here isn't the real Route 7. So this isn't the real Route 7, so I wonder if any Pokémon will appear here. I wonder if the same Pokémon will appear here. It'd be funny if no Pokémon actually appear here. Yeah, I'm not getting any wild Pokémon. That's so weird. Yeah, so this is a fake Route 7 and no Pokemon are appearing. That's so weird. It's weird that the out of bound water has Pokemon appearing, but the out of bound grass doesn't have any Pokemon appearing. You'd think that maybe it'd be the other way around. Route 7, that is hilarious. Yeah, no wild Pokemon are appearing here. That's so weird. I'm guessing that wild Pokemon don't appear here then. That's so weird. And how far down can we go? Yeah, and you could go down to here. And across to here, but yeah, otherwise... This city is just like its own loading zone. It's not connected to the rest of the map. It's kind of surprising. Oh, I accidentally walked into this house. Oh, what if we go- What is up these stairs? I've got to see what's up these stairs. Pokemon? No! This is a hotel for people! We're full up, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll see about that, ma'am. Ah, uh, I guess these stairs aren't real. Makes sense that there's nothing up here. I always wondered what was up here, but I guess you can't go up these stairs. It makes sense that they wouldn't put a room there if you can't get up there. Ah, uh, I feel cheated that there's no room up here. Why? Why, Game Freak and Nintendo? Why didn't you make these stairs real? 
I want to go up there and see what's up there. Yippee! I'm on vacation! My sis brought me along! Awesome! What's in here? Whoa! <laughs> this guy's like, no! No, take anything but don't take my TV! Anything but the TV! Please, Team Rocket! Please, just don't take my TV! It's all I have! I don't even have a bathroom in my house! Just leave my TV! Please, I urinate in the sink! You can walk all over the cupboards! It, just walk on the walls if you want, Team Rocket! Just don't take my TV! <laughs> I love that Team Rocket also has walk-through walls active. That's so funny. Oh, what if we talk to this guy from here? Cycling Road is a downhill course by the sea. It's a great ride. Excuse me, wait up, please. No pedestrians are allowed on Cycling Road. Who are you talking to? Why don't you face me when you speak to me? It's actually so funny that <laughs> he just keeps facing the direction that he's facing when he's talking to you, because normally he doesn't turn, I guess. Let's leave. What the? We don't have the bike! I never got the bike! What in the world? Hold on, let me check my items. Key items, we don't have the bike. We don't have a bike. That's so funny, you automatically get put on a bike if you go here. Okay, so I guess we don't have to unlock the bike. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's ride the bike on this water here. Can you get into a battle here? No, I'm expecting that you can get into a battle, because in other out-of-bounds areas, you could get into battles, but it's so weird. Yeah, I'm saying that it's so weird that no Pokemon is appearing while I'm riding my bike on the water in an out-of-bounds area. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. Where is this going? Oh, we received HMO2. I see, I see. HMO2 is fly. It's a wonderfully convenient move. Please, put it to good use. What's with people bribing me in this game? Lapras. Oh, you can't interact with the Pokemon? What? I jumped into this zoo pen on my bike to try to speak to a Lapras, but it won't interact with me? What in the world is this? What in the world is this? I came here to speak to a Lapras. Alright, maybe we'll battle a Lapras here. Oh, it's a Psyduck. Psyduck! How's that Psyduck impression? Let's check the rest of the zoo out. Can we talk to this guy? No. Help me! Ooh! <laughs> the Pokemon are escaping! The Pokemon are escaping! The Pokemon are escaping the zoo! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Escape Pokemon, go free, go free! Go free! The Slowpoke can escape! Yes, go, 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 go down, go down, no! Go down! Go down, go down! Go down, Slowpoke! I think he actually doesn't want to leave. Ah, oh, it's too bad. What about the Chansey? Nope, you can't talk to the Chansey. It's so weird being right beside the Chansey. They just don't talk to you, though. What about the Voltorb? Voltorb! Voltorb also doesn't talk to you. Kangaskhan? Kangas, Kangaskhan! Kangaskhan, you can escape now. You can be free. Uh, I wish I was a Kangaskhan baby. Well, maybe this Kangaskhan can come and pick you up right now and put you in its pouch. Cycling road. No pedestrians permitted. Wow. Looks like we're breaking the rules here. It's so weird that we don't have a bike, but once you step out here, the game has a flag that automatically puts you on the bike, even if you don't have the bike. That's really cool. Oh, what if we cheat our way into the safari zone? I am very, very curious to see what this will be like. Okay, so normally when you walk into the Safari Zone... Welcome to the Safari Zone for just $500! You can play the Safari Zone. You can catch as many Pokémon as you want. What if we try to walk by? Wait, what if we talk to this guy from here? You actually can't speak to him. You can't speak to him from any of these sides. That's kind of funny. What about this guy? Hi, is it your first time here? No. Sorry, you're a regular here. We've actually never been here. Okay, what if we don't pay and we just walk in? What happens? Safari zone? Okay. Alright, so normally when you hit pause, it shows how many steps you have left. But right now, we don't have steps. I guess we could just walk around for as long as we want in the safari zone. Oh, what happens if we go into a battle in the safari zone here? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the actual trainer shows up. Wait a minute! This isn't what's supposed to happen at the safari zone! Where are our Pokeballs? We have a Master Ball! <laughs> this isn't what happens at the Safari Zone! 
These aren't what the options are supposed to be. We have no moves left. And why that Pokemon actually attacks us! We're out of usable Pokemon. We panicked and lost $8. That's what we get for sneaking into the Safari Zone. Yeah, you're supposed to use Safari Balls. Like, you could either give it, like, bait, or you could throw a rock at it, run away, or use a Safari Ball. But when you run into a Pokemon here, I guess the game treats it just like a regular battle because we aren't officially in, like... I guess the game didn't set a flag that the Safari Zone is active. Because just a regular battle starts, that's so weird. Like, we should be able to just use our regular Pokeballs now, and by regular Pokeballs, we only have a Master Ball, so let's see. Yeah, so we can just use a Master Ball to catch a Pokemon in the Safari Zone. Give a nickname to captured Psyduck, no. Wait a minute! I still can't check my Pokemon or my Pokedex. So when we battle now, are we going to send out our Psyduck, or are we still going to send out no Pokemon? Oh, we actually send out our Psyduck now. Now we could actually fight. And we could actually run. Hello there, laddie. Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, for just 500 quid. Sir, so you'll buy it, am I right? Yes. You paid an outrageous 500 for a Magikarp. Do you want to give a name to it? Yes, okay, we'll give a name to our Magikarp. What will we name our Magikarp? Since this is our first Pokemon of the game, we'll call it Bulbasaur. <laughs> so we'll say, go Bulbasaur! But then a Magikarp comes out, and our rival will be very confused. Is that how you spell Bulbasaur? I still can't check my Pokemon, though! Still won't let me check my Pokemon. At least now I could heal my Pokemon nor- I think I could heal my Pokemon normally now. Hold on, let me create a new save. Let's call this one with Magikarp. So if we ever want to go back to the not having a Pokemon, we could go to the previous one. What about the Pokedex? Yeah, we didn't get the Pokedex either. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, I work here, lady. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon? Yes. Whoa! I didn't even see my Pokeball appear there. Thank you for waiting. You've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Still can't check on my Pokemon. What if I check on the PC? Oh! And another screen appears above the PC. This is some augmented reality stuff that we are seeing right here. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, and the second screen actually stays up there. Oh my goodness! And if you interact with the second screen, a third screen appears. How far up can we take this? How far up can we take this? Too bad that you can't walk up any higher. I want to check what's down here. Is the ship really down here? No, there's nothing down here. They lie. Where do they actually take you? Do you have a ticket? There. Okay, fine. Now we can enter. <laughs> I'm not going to go on the ship. I'm just going to walk around. At least this doesn't go- wait. How far up does this go? What the- what is this? What the- why is this here? Why is this here? What is this? What in the- why is this here? Why is there this area with this truck here off to the side? What the- why is this just here, out of bounds? It makes no sense! I don't think this is used in any cutscenes. I don't think the ship normally comes here. That's the truck that gives you Mew! We can't interact with it in any way. Search for Mew under the truck. This just looks like something that they wanted to add but didn't use. I didn't expect- wait, where- oh, okay, I'm like, where did the ship go? Let's see if there's anything else down here. No, that's about as far as you could go. That's as far as you could go that way. Wow, that's really weird. I didn't expect that truck to just be there to the side of the ship. Going through Diglett's Cave is actually going to be a better idea. Is there anything up here? No, can't go very far here. Whoa! Whoa! Diglett's Cave goes pretty far up here. It almost looks like this is another path that you were meant to take. That's actually really cool, even though you can't walk up here. Hold on, this is all out of bounds, right? Yeah! That's so cool that this is all out of bounds, but it almost looks like it's another path that you're meant to take. That's really cool. Oh, it's my rival! My rival's up there. What if I don't battle my rival? Let's ignore the rival for now. Let's just head on through here. Wait a minute, you could see me here? But I'm not allowed to walk here. That's pretty funny. They could probably see a certain amount of steps in each direction. That would make sense. Oh! What happens if you step on this? Because if you step on this, it heals you. Stepping on this thing heals you and all of your Pokemon. Come, child, I have purified this space. You can rest here. 
What happens if you step on that while you don't have any Pokemon? Enter the purified and protected zone. CX Manny's Pokemon were fully healed. Now maybe I'll be able to win some battles. Oh, and you know what? We actually might not be able to get up here. That's the spot that spawns the Marowak, right? Oh, a rare candy. What if we use the rare candy on our Pokemon, can we? There is no Pokemon. Ah! I was hoping we'd be able to use the rare candy on our non-existent Pokemon. That would have been so cool. Okay, so normally if you step there, it spawns a Marowak. Hold on, where does the Marowak spawn? I think it's... Oh, right here! He got intruders. Maybe we actually can skip past it then. Okay, here's the ghost. Oh no, the ghost can't appear! Go! What if we run? Got away safely! Wow, we were able to run away from it! I didn't expect that we'd be able to run away from it. What happens if we try to fight it? We have no moves left! Ghost, get out! Get out! We're out of usable Pokémon! Panicked and lost eight dollars. Oh no! And then we appear back at mom's house, right? Yeah, then we appear back at mom's house. Wow, that's actually really funny. I'm surprised that that happens. Can we use the stairs though? It looks like this spot is actually safe. It's only the two adjacent spots that are dangerous. Like here is safe and here is safe. But you can go up the stairs without facing the Marowak. That's kind of funny. How far can these guys see? Not very far. Can we rescue him? Can we rescue him without fighting the Team Rocket Traders? Let's see if we can rescue him without facing the Team Rocket Traders. Ha! You came to save me! Thank you! But I came here of my own free will. Right! I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. Well, we skipped the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. What makes you think that? It's not like we battled it or anything. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay. <laughs> ZX Mini, your Pokédex quest is one that requires strong dedication. I haven't gotten the Pokédex yet. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I don't have any Pokemon. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. We got the Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on a po try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. No thanks, I'd rather just walk around them. All right, let's see. Let's see if Team Rocket is going to be there. My guess would be yes if I had to guess. They're go Oh no, they're not gone. They're still here. They're still here. What do you want? Why are you here? Okay, so these guys are still here. But Mr. Fiji isn't here anymore. Now, how the tables have turned. We need Mr. Fiji to come and rescue us this time. Instead of us coming to rescue him. You're not saving anyone, kid. Well, yeah, that's kind of obvious because there's no one here to save. Thank you, Captain Obvious from Team Rocket. Hold on, I'm curious about something. I'm curious about something. If we go to this casino place, I know that there's like a Team Rocket secret hideout here. Ah, uh, you probably have to defeat this rocket guy for the stairs to appear. Hey! A switch behind the poster? Let's push it! Oh wow, you actually don't have to battle him to go down the stairs! Well, if you could reach the poster, that is. Yeah, and he just stands around guarding the poster even though the button's already been pressed and the stairs have appeared. That's really funny. Oh, well, maybe you have to exit a house and re-enter. Let's see. Or maybe you have to do a battle. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute! 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 At first I saw Retire in the top, and I'm like, why is Retire up here? That's not an option that's normally there. I didn't think much of it, but then I thought, wait a minute, that's what shows up when you're at the Safari Zone. And right now we are at question mark 26 out of 600 steps, and balls zero. So it's like, does it think that we're in the Safari Zone right now? Hold on, what if we take some steps? Our steps are going down. Oh, or up. Or down. That's so weird. Juan, should I choose retire? What happens if I retire? Let's check our Pokedex. Scene one. We have scene one, owned zero. Wait. The only Pokemon that we have seen is a Machop. Okay, let's take a look at our Pokemon. 
Summary or item? <gasps> can we give it an item? Oh my god, we can actually give it an item now. I think we can. Let's see. Let's give it a... Cleanse tag. Help by Pokemon, it repels what? Okay, uh, let's give it something that doesn't do anything. Let's give it X accuracy. Let's try. Oh my goodness, you could give a non-existent Pokemon an item to hold if you do it this way. But if you go into your bag and you try to give an item, there is no Pokemon. How did I just give an item to the Pokemon then? Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, and we can check our Pokemon stats too. Very nice. Wait a minute, the question mark is facing the wrong way now. Oh, and it says met in a trade. I never even realized that. We met this Pokemon in a trade apparently. It's holding an X accuracy now. Would you like to exit the Safari Zone right now? Wait, hold on. Let me stand over here first. Would you like to exit the Safari Zone right now? What happens if you choose yes? This isn't the Safari Zone. I'm wondering what will happen. Let's do yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch your fair share? Come again! Okay. <laughs> okay, we're out of the safari zone now. And the options have disappeared now! We don't have the option to retire anymore and we can't take a look at our Pokemon or our Pokedex anymore! Oh, we can just get the item like this. Found one rare candy. Okay, so look, we are in this room. We are in this room. This is the room right before you entered the safari zone. This is the entrance to the safari zone. You talk to this guy, he goes, Hey, welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you could play the Safari game. You could roam the Safari and catch as many Pokemon as you want. We'll say, no, we won't play. The game right now thinks that we're in the Safari Zone because we could choose Retire. Retire from the Safari game and return to the registration counter. What if we retire here? Would you like to exit the Safari Zone right now? Yes. And it brings you back to the door that you just came from. Did you catch your fair share? Come again. Wait a minute, what the? What the? What? <laughs> <laughs> the Kangaskhan has escaped! The Kangaskhan has escaped! This is where the Kangaskhan is normally supposed to do! Wow! This is like Planet of the Apes! The Pokemon Trainer is in the pen, and the Kangaskhan is roaming free! Okay, very nice. This is what you like to see. Oh, but I, I have... Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! This isn't the Safari Zone! What in the world is going on? This is not the Safari Zone! This is not the Safari Zone. Why is the game treating... Wait, where are we now? The game is just black now. There's The screen is just black now. <laughs> and there's no music. No! Hey, you came from Pallet Town? You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Oak's parcel came in. You know what? Sure, let's do the Oak's parcel quest. I wonder if we'll be able to return the parcel to him or not, because we don't have any Pokemon yet. And for some reason, the game still thinks we're in the Safari Zone. What if we go to return it to him? Oh! <laughs> Our rival is here, but Professor Oak isn't here. ZX Few. What? It's only ZX Many Gramps isn't around. That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. Let me guess. This one, let, I, I bet I know what this one's going to be. Is this one also going to be Professor Oak's last Pokemon? Yep. So each of these are all Professor Oak's last Pokemon. The game is so confused about what's going on right now. Yeah, and this lady's just walking through bookshelves. Hello. What is it like to walk through bookshelves? Professor Oak may not look like much. He can't even walk through bookshelves. How many trainers can walk through bookshelves like me? It's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank. That sounds so useful. Wait a minute. Can't you say that about anything? Can't you say that about any book with blank pages? It's like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank. That's not really saying much. Let's try walking up. I think we'll just trigger Professor Oak normally, right? Let's see. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Here comes Oak. It's unsafe! Wild Pokemon live there. Here, come with me. Hey, wait a minute. I thought these were Oak's last Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Hey, there are three Pokemon here. Ha! When I was young... Okay. Oh! What if we don't take a Pokemon? What if we just leave? Okay, so normally, if you try to leave here, I think they stop you. Hey! Don't go away yet! But if you walk through the bookshelf there, they don't stop you. You could just leave without the Pokemon. That's actually really funny. 
Wonder if we'll trigger Oak again if we walk here. Oh no, Oak only gets triggered once. That's very interesting. It's not every time you walk here without a Pokemon. It's only the first time. So that's actually good that Professor Oak doesn't keep appearing. Hey, don't go away yet. Oh, I was just trying to come closer. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. I must be a very talented Pokemon trainer because I don't have a Pokemon with me and I haven't even taken a Pokemon from you yet. What's that? You have something for me? I delivered Oak's parcel. The game must be so confused about what is going on right now. We've... We've, uh... <laughs> we haven't taken a Pokemon yet and we're delivering the parcel back to Oak. Gary wants to battle us because we haven't had our first battle with him yet. Had it on order, thank you. Gramps! Where is he going? Where is Gary going? <laughs> Where is he going? He just ran out of bounds. Oh, right! I have, a, I have a request for you to- Wait, where are you going? On my desk, there's my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Oak, ZX Many, and ZX Few. Take these with you. ZX-Many received the Pokédex from Professor Oak. You, you can't get detailed data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools. Cool, we got five Pokéballs. Nice. We haven't even gotten our first Pokémon yet. When a wild Pokémon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokéball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. Healthy Pokémon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all Pokémon in the world. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you to fulfill my dream. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokémon history. All right, Gramps, leave it to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Haha! <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Where's he going? He just disappears. He just disappeared right here. Because normally he's supposed to be out of view when he walks down. Now let's see, I'm very curious. Can we take a Pokemon? That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. That's Professor Oak's last Pokemon. It's Professor Oak's last Pokemon, so we can't even take a Pokemon now. Good to see you. How's your Pokedex coming along? Let me take a look. The amount of progress you've made on your Pokedex is... One Pokemon seen and zero owned. Professor Oak's rating. You still have lots to do. Go into every patch of grass you see and look for Pokemon. Alright, I'll make sure to do that. Oh, I'm so curious about this. Okay, okay, okay. So look, normally when you use the PC, this happens, right? But... If you use the PC from this side, another screen appears. If you use this PC, another screen appears. I wonder how far up we could take this, because over here, this PC is pretty low. <laughs> how high up can we boot these PCs? <laughs> the reason that we could walk so far out of bounds here is because this here is part of the room, so we could just keep walking up like this. Hold on, can I? Activate this PC, there we go. All right, how many PCs can we activate? My goodness. Like, look, this... <laughs> it's a PC Accordion, exactly, bit. All right, let's just keep booting up these PCs. This might be one of the biggest PC changes that we could make. Okay, and I don't think you could go any higher than that. That's as high as you could go. So here are all the PC screens. We can have the PC screens go up like this. Okay, let's see what's out here then. Birth Island. It's very, very quiet. Whoa, there's a triangle. Okay. Yeah, the island is just in the shape of a triangle. And there are trees here. Is there anything to do here? What happens if you interact with the triangle? Oh! It runs away from you. Why is it running away from you? Come back. Oh? Do you have to interact with it from the right side? It might be. I've actually never done this before. I've never been to this island before. Is this how you get Deoxys? Wait, do I have to be, like, fast enough? Because it... Oh, it's glowing brighter and brighter. Whoa! Oh! Wow! This is crazy! Oh my goodness. I've never fought Deoxys before. I didn't know this is where you get Deoxys from. Level 30? That's it, bro! That's so weak! This is so weak, bro. Do I have a Pokeball? Okay, bro, I'll even try to catch it. I think it's only an event thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 like mystery gifts. Well, Deoxys used Taunt. I fell for the Taunt. I'm out of usable Pokemon. 
Panicked and lost $8. Okay, what's in Naval Rock? Let's see what's in here. So I guess this is an island that you could get to in some way. Whoa, this is so cool. I've never been here before. Oh, is this actually some kind of dungeon or something? No way. Oh, nothing out here, is there? Okay, you can't go out very far. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this goes on pretty far. Okay, left or right? Oh, left is a dead end! That's so silly! Why would they do this? Why would they make you walk all the way there just for it to be a dead end? That is silly! That is silly! That is silly! This game was made... <laughs> this is like a Mario Maker 2 level. Why are there just dead ends like this? This is so silly. Like, guys, we need to add some post-game content that only a few people will be able to access. What should we do? Make it a maze with lots of dead ends. Okay, some ladders, all right. Oh, is this like a maze where you have to know if you have to go like up, down, up, down? Or is it that you actually have to go down enough times? Hold on, I'd like to get out of here. Oh! <laughs> okay, we're up here apparently. Um. Oh, it's ho -O! If you keep going down, do you get to Lugia? That's actually really cool that ho -O is in this game. I didn't know ho -O was in this game. If you keep going down, do you get Lugia? Let's try to catch our ho -O. Wait, where did our Pokemon go? My Pokemon's missing. Oh, ho -O used Fire Blast. Man, that's gonna hurt. ho -O is a much higher level than Deoxys, too. Did the Fire Blast kill me? Okay, you use Fire Blast. Okay, don't rub it in. And I'm going forward right now. It looks like it's actually a soft block. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I thought that was it. Twelve. Oh my goodness, you have to go down twelve times. Yeah, good game design. Oh my goodness. It's like, we really gotta give people some, gotta, gotta really give people some content. You know, these people there. Oh, and the water just goes up to there. Gotta give people some content. Gotta make them feel like it's a really big dungeon. You have to go down 12 sets of stairs to get to Lugia. My goodness. Oh, hello Lugia. Would you like to battle? That's so cool that Lugia and ho -Oh are in this game in areas like this. For these memory addresses. That's actually really cool. Mount Ember, hold on. Oh, this is on one of those islands, isn't it? Wait a minute. I remember this. Oh, this is where Moltres is! In the regular blue and red, in the regular Gen 1, Moltres is normally in Victory Road, isn't it? But yeah, this is the one with Moltres. Yeah, I remember now. I remember now. This is on one of the islands. <laughs> okay, guys, you already know what is going to happen here. You know what is going to happen here. If you go into this route, if you teleport straight to this route, there's automatically a flag that places you to be swimming on a Pokemon. So, if we could walk through walls, <laughs> we can now swim on land. Oh, can you talk to people? Hmm, is that right? I'd be pretty confused too. If someone was swimming on land and standing on top of a sign, I'd be pretty confused too. Oh, look, look! Wait, look at what? Oh, you want me to read the sign? Press start to open the menu. Signs are useful, aren't they? I... I think there's a bit more going on right now that I'd be worrying about than signs. I have to be careful to not step off of the water, because if I step off of the water, then I think I'll just start walking, so I have to step onto something that's out of bounds. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this over here, I'm pretty sure that these two over here, that this is going to be a double battle. So let's try, let's see what happens when you go into a double battle and you don't have any Pokemon. Hey, do you want to battle with us too? Bring two or more Pokemon with you then. Wow, they won't let you battle with them. You have to bring at least two Pokemon with you. Okay, so I guess you actually can't enter double battles if you don't have two Pokemon. Let's see, what is Bill going to say as we walk by him? Oh, he doesn't say anything. What if we speak to him? You can't speak to him! <laughs> you can't press the A button on him. He won't interact with us. Why, Bill? Why? Let's see where this brings us. Water Labyrinth. I don't think this is going to be much of a labyrinth. 
for us because we could just go through spots like this. Oh, there's an old man over here. Is this a double battle? I'm sorry, but may we battle in two-on-two -two style? How come when another trainer locks eyes with you, they, they said in this game before, they're like, when you lock eyes with the trainer, that means it's time to battle. But over here, these guys are like, mm, sorry, you need at least two Pokemon to battle us. We won't battle if you don't have two Pokemon. Ah, oh, this is where Trainer Tower is. Wow. I like how high Trainer Tower reaches. So normally you can't go any higher than this. So I like if you just keep walking up a bit, then like, it's just cut off here. Okay, so here's what happens when we go to the Hall of Fame without any Pokemon. Where, where am I walking to? <laughs> oh, ahem. Congratulations, ZX Money. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. ZX Many, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, ZX Many. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. And normally all your Pokemon are supposed to appear there. And I can't move. So this is what happens if you make it to the Hall of Fame with no Pokemon. You're just going to be stuck on this screen and all you can hear is all your Pokeballs from all of your Pokemon being put on, even though you don't have any Pokemon. So it's kind of similar to what happens when you go to a Pokemon Center and ask to have your Pokemon healed when you don't have any Pokemon. So giving you no Pokemon gives you infinite Pokemon in a way, yeah. If you've made it this far into the video, I just want to say that I really appreciate you watching this video. Having you all along for this journey is what makes everything so much more fun. Thank you for the many laughs, and I hope you enjoyed learning from the many experiments that we had here. It's a bit funny that I've always had this Pokemon background behind me, but this is actually my first Pokemon video on this YouTube channel. I've only ever played the first four generations of Pokemon up until Diamond and Pearl, but I've really loved all the Pokemon games that I've played. If you have any suggestions of other Pokemon games that you'd be interested in seeing me play, whether it's hacking the game like this, or doing a Nuzlocke challenge, or just playing through it normally, you can leave a suggestion in the comments. This video was made completely from footage of my live streams over at twitch.tv slash zxmini where we do all kinds of experiments with games like this and you're welcome to check that out if you're interested in seeing stuff like this live. Again, a big thank you to you for watching this video, wishing all of you a very fantastic day ahead of you, and take care everybody.